Hello everyone! Para sa video na to, ang pag-aaralan natin ay composition of functions or sa ibang libro, composite functions. If we are given functions na f of x at g of x, then ang ating composition of functions, it is represented by this small circle. Yung maliit na bilog na to, this is an operator ng ating composition that is just equal to f of g of x. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong function g of x within our whole function f of x. Yung pangalawang function dito sa ating f of g of x, which is yung g of x, siya yung magiging input nung ating function na f of x. Kaya we have to take note na yung ating pangalawang function, siya yung magiging input nung ating unang function, in this case yung f of x. Then susundin na lang natin yung process for evaluation of functions. Para mas maintindihan natin, gamitin natin siya dito sa ating unang example. We have to perform f of g of x. Yung g of x, siya yung magiging input ni f of x. Then kukunin natin yung baliktad na si f of x naman yung magiging input ni ating g of x. We are given with the functions f of x is equal to 6x minus 3. Tapos ang g of x natin is equal to x squared plus 12. Now let us apply yung ating concepts. Our f of g of x. This is equal to yung unang function natin, siya yung nasa labas. Tapos, yung pangalawang function natin, yung g of x, siya yung nasa loob. So, we have our f of g of x. Then, isulat natin yung ating g of x. We have our f of, ang g of x natin is x squared plus 12. Ang ginawa lang natin is sinubstitute natin yung ating g of x na x squared plus 12 dito sa loob ng ating f of x. But, yung f of x natin, this is simply equal to 6x minus 3. Kaya ang gagawin natin, dahil si g of x yung nasa loob, si x squared plus 12, isasubstitute natin siya sa lahat ng value ng x ng f of x natin. In this case, isa lang naman. So, this is equal to, ang f of x natin ay 6x minus 3, and then lahat ng x papalitan natin ng x squared plus 12, kaya ito ay magiging x squared plus 12, and then wag natin kalimutan yung minus 3. Then, as we continue with our operation, kailangan na lang natin siyang simplify. This is equal to, kailangan natin i-multiply si 6 dito sa buong x squared plus 12. Kaya distributing, i-multiply natin siya kay x squared tsaka kay 12. So, we have 6 times x squared, that is 6x squared, tapos 6 times 12, that is 72. And then, yung ating minus 3. Then, hindi na natin magagalaw si x squared, isa lang naman siya, pero we can perform yung operation na nandito. Kaya we have yung ating 6x squared, tapos 72 minus 3, that is positive 69. Ito na yung ating f of g of x. This is our final answer. Tapos na tayo dito sa ating f of g of x, ang kukunin naman natin ay yung baliktad yung g of f of x. So writing that down, we have our g of f of x, we have here, so, this is just equal to, again, yung ating pangalawang function, siya yung nasa loob. So, this is equal to g of f of x. Isulat natin yung ating f of x na 6x minus 3 dito sa loob ng ating function. So, this is equal to g. Again, ang f of x natin is 6x minus 3. Sulat ulit natin dito our g of x that is simply equal to x squared plus 12. Ang susunod na gagawin natin is lahat ng value ng ating input na 6x minus 3, siya yung isasubstitute natin sa lahat ng values ng x dito sa ating g of x. Let us do that part. g of x is equal to, ang x natin ay papalitan natin ng 6x minus 3, tapos wag natin kalimutan yung ating exponent na 2. Kaya this is raised to 2 and then plus 12. Ang ginagawa lang natin dito para lang tayo nag -e evaluate ng functions. Sinasubstitute natin yung nasa loob sa lahat ng values ng x dun sa ating original function na g of x, in this case, x squared plus 12. Dahil tapos na tayo dun, we only have to simplify our answer. Ang 6x minus 3 squared, minumultiply natin si 6x minus 3 by itself ng dalawang beses. So we can rewrite this as 6x minus 3 times 6x minus 3, and then yung ating plus 12. 
Pwede mong idiretso yung sagot if you know the process ng pag-solve ng square of a binomial. Pero for our discussion, we will be doing it step by step. So let's start with our terms. Kailangan nating i-multiply si 6x dito sa 6x minus 3 sa kabila at saka dun sa negative 3. So doing that, this is equal to 6x times 6x. 6 times 6 is 36 and then x times x is x squared. Tapos kay negative 3 naman, 6 times negative 3 that is negative 18 tapos yung x natin. For our next step, si negative 3 naman ang imumultiply natin kay 6x tsaka kay negative 3. Kaya that is negative 3 times x that is negative 18 din. And then yung ating x, tapos negative 3 times negative 3. Negative times negative is positive, kaya this is positive 9. And lastly, syempre, ito yung kinuha na natin ng operation. Huwag natin kalimutan yung ating plus 12. So this is plus 12. As we continue, parehong merong x, and then ito yung pareho natin na numbers. So, we can perform the operation. Ito, solo lang naman na x squared. Kaya, this is equal to yung ating 36x squared. Negative 18 minus 18, that is negative 36. And then, yung ating x plus 9 plus 12, that is positive 21. Now, we have our g of f of x, which is equal to 36x squared minus 36x plus 21. This is our answer. Kung mapansin natin, magkaiba yung sagot ni f of g of x tsaka kay g of f of x. Ang ibig sabihin lang nito, ang composition of functions or composite functions is not commutative. Hindi pareho yung sagot kapag pinagbaliktad natin yung placing ng ating functions. That's it for our first example. Let us proceed dun sa ating Second and last example for our composition of functions. For this one, we have to perform f of g of x given ang f of x natin ay 3x squared plus 5x minus 7. Ang g of x naman natin ay x plus 2. Let us dive in straight dun sa ating formula. Ang hinahanap ay c f of g of x. So, hindi siya fag. That is composition of function. This is equal to yung outer function natin ay yung nauna. And then, yung inner function natin ay yung pangalawa. Kaya, ang nasa loob ay si g of x. So, let me write it down. Tapos, ano ba yung g of x natin? That is simply x plus 2. Kaya, kapag sinulat natin, this is equal to f of, ang g of x again ay x plus 2. And then, ano ba yung f of x natin? Our f of x, that is equal to 3x squared plus 5x minus 7. Ang input ng ating function is x plus 2. Kaya lahat ng x natin, papalitan natin ng x plus 2. Ito yung ating una x, ito yung ating pangalawang x. So, papalitan natin sila ng x plus 2. As we do that, this is equal to, ang f of x natin ay 3x squared. Ang x ay papalitan natin ng x plus 2. And then, yung ating exponent na 2. Kaya, this is raised to 2. Plus 5x, ang x ulit ay magiging x plus 2. And then, yung ating minus 7. Then, we perform the operation. This is equal to 3 times. Let us multiply x plus 2 by itself ng dalawang beses. We have our x plus 2 times x plus 2. Kasi we have our exponent 2. Then, we have our 5 times x plus 2. And then, minus 7. Doing our operations, tuloy natin ang ating solution. Unahin muna natin i-multiply yung x plus 2 kay x plus 2. Starting with our first term, we have our x times x tsaka yung x times 2. Retain yung ating operation, this is 3 times. Huwag natin kalimutan yung ating grouping symbol kasi yung sagot nitong dalawang to ang i-multiply natin buo dito sa ating 3. So we have our x times x, that is x squared. And then we have our x times 2, that is simply 2x. Then for our second term, multiplying 2 kay x, tsaka yung 2 kay 2 naman. Kaya that is 2 times x, that is also 2x, tapos 2 times 2, that is 4. So this is plus. Let us multiply yung 5 kay x plus 2, so distributing 5 times x, tsaka kay 5 times 2. Kaya that is 5 times x, that is 5x, tapos 5 times 2, that is 10, and then yung ating minus 7. Simplify muna natin yung nasa loob before we proceed with our multiplication kay 3. 
Kaya this is equal to 3. Wala namang ibang x squared. So, this is x squared. 2x plus 2x because they share the same variable na x. Ang i-add na lang natin ay yung coefficients nila, yung number na kasama nila which is 2 and 2. 2 plus 2, that is 4. And then copy yung x. And then yung ating 4. Tapos, sa kabila naman, we have our 5x. Perform na natin yung ating 10 minus 7. 10 minus 7, that is simply 3. Kaya this is plus 3. Then, we multiply yung ating 3 kay x squared, kay 4x, saka kay 4. So, this is equal to 3 times x squared, that is 3x squared. 3 times 4x, 3 times 4 is 12. And then, yung ating x plus 3 times 4, this is also 12. Tapos, kopyahin na lang natin yung natira natin na 5x plus 3. Para hindi tayo malito, pag samasamahin natin yung pare-pare ang variables, yung merong x squared, tapos yung x lang, so this is 12x, tapos yung ating 5x, and then yung numbers na 12 and 3. Rearranging, this is equal to 3x squared, starting dun sa pinakamataas na exponent ni x, and then we have our 12x, Tapos, yung may x then which is 5x, and then, ang natira ay si 12, and then, tsaka si 3. Ngayon, naayos na natin sila, let us perform our addition. Solo lang naman si 3x squared, kaya iwanan natin siya. So, we have our 3x squared, and then, yung ating 12x plus 5x, we add 12 plus 5, that is equal to 17, and then, copy si x, plus 12 plus 3, that is 15, Solo na lang yung may x squared, isa na lang yung may x, and then isa lang yung number natin. Kaya this is our f of g of x. Medyo humaba lang yung process kasi marami tayong kailangan i-simplify. Pero finally, we arrived dun sa ating final answer which is 3x squared plus 17x plus 15. This is the process kung paano natin kukuhanin yung composition of functions or yung composite functions. Music